Hollywood's comic book heroes. There isn't anything they can't do. They're faster than a silver bullet. More powerful than a speeding locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings with a single bound. Even stronger than an atom bomb. What a mouth! Able to withstand any torture. Defying gravity itself. As they perform amazing superhuman feats. Those larger-than-life superheroes who've taught us to expect the unexpected every time we go to the movies. Leaping lizards. For years, Hollywood searched the comics for wildly imaginative story ideas and characters. And the trend has come full circle. Today, Hollywood creates the heroes who've inspired new comic books for a whole new generation of readers. Well, join us now for a trip to the fantastic world of Hollywood's comic book heroes. Yes. They used to be thought of as just kid stuff. But today, comic books appeal to all ages and are very big business. Brand new, they only cost about a dime, but many rare or historic comics have become coveted collector's items, like this first issue of Batman. Value, $4,200. Scholars may never take the phenomenon of the comic book seriously, but Hollywood sure has. Shazam! The movies have created millions of new fans for these larger-than-life superheroes. Their universal appeal is based on feeding audiences fantasies of invincibility and a heroic sense of honor little seen in everyday life. Uh, you are beautiful. <laughs> Your slimy hands off her. And of course, the audiences love the kind of action that has added words like zap and pow to our vocabulary. Grateful. That's all right, Jack. You, you know me? I ought to. I'm your twin brother. However far-fetched the stories may get, Hollywood's comic book heroes are immensely popular the world over. The Batman TV series is still regularly seen in 104 countries. Batman! Sorry about that, Commodore. Won't take a minute, please. You will. Hey! You okay, Robin? I sure am, Batman. Thanks to that anti-penguin gas pill. The pompous fool. He's played right into our hands. Quickly, the abat cycle to the Batcopter. We'll track him to the gang's new hideout. If you were in France, Africa, or Quebec, the dynamic duo might sound like this. Poor idiot, il a donné tête blessée dans le panneau. Vite en bat moto, allons au Batcopter, nous le suivrons jusqu'au repère du gang. 
Throughout South America and Mexico, you'll find the Cape Crusaders speaking fluent Spanish. Un vanidoso tonto se ha puesto ahora en nuestras manos. Rápido, en la bicicleta al baticóptero. Lo seguiremos hasta su nuevo escondite. And even halfway around the world in Japan, if you have a yen for Batman and Robin, they're there too. But in any language, Batman means adventure and excitement. legendary Captain Marvel, whose magic word, Shazam, gave him superhuman powers. But how many of us remember who Shazam was? I am Shazam. My name is... All is known to me. Your name is Billy Batson. But where did you come from? Out of the past, my son. Down through the ages to guard the secret of the scorpion. So long as the golden scorpion may fall into the hands of selfish men, it is the duty of Captain Marvel to protect the innocent from its evil use. But who is Captain Marvel? You are, my son. All that is necessary is to repeat my name, Shazam. Shazam. sometimes has problems casting certain superheroes. In those cases, artists are called in to do the trick, as they did when they created the world's mightiest mouse. Hurry up! I have a job to do! Popeye the Sailor was already an established comic and movie star when television reintroduced him to tens of millions of new fans. Hey, I want me Goyle. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Who are you? I'm Popeye the Sailor, man. Who are you? kept many comic superheroes from disappearing from the public eye. But for the purists, there will never be anything comparable to the original serialized movies. The serialized
serials were five-hour movies separated into 12 weekly chapters. To get audiences to return to the theater for the next chapter of the story, each episode ended with the hero in grave danger and facing certain death. These tricky endings came to be lovingly known as cliffhangers. Captain America, give me that wheel. Here's an ending from the original Captain America showing our hero being blown to bits. How could he possibly escape? For those of you who always suspected that the cliffhangers might have been slightly rigged in the hero's favor, we'll give you a little insight. When audiences returned the next week, the story was recapped, except this time, a new shot of Captain America jumping out of the truck had been added. When Batman was revived on TV in 1966, it was shown twice weekly, bringing the sweet frustration of cliffhangers to a whole new generation. This catapult will hurry you through the sky and across Gotham City. I'm sure you'll make a big splash at the other end of your journey. <laughs> the Cape Crusaders to end smashed flat. Ep to Pengi. Friends, Romans, countrymen, find out next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. Holy cliffhangers, Batman. <laughs> Don't go away. We'll be right back with the smashing conclusion. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. Our heroes were catapulting to sure doom. But what's this? The Batmobile to the rescue. That time we spent on the remote control activator really reaped dividends, Robin. I'll say, Batman, remind me to give the Batmobile an extra quart of oil next time we change it. Batman wasn't the only superhero to have a rather remarkable car. The Green Hornet had a sleek limousine called the Black Beauty. Let's roll, Cato. With its mild-mannered appearance, the Black Beauty was really a rolling arsenal, with everything from deadly rocket launchers... ...to remote-controlled gas jet guns. But the car's most awesome weapon had nothing to do with sophisticated gadgetry. It was the driver, the Green Hornet's two-fisted crime-fighting houseboy, Cato played on TV by kung fu legend Bruce Lee. If a masked mystery man with a trusty assistant sounds like a familiar premise, it's not totally by accident. According to the legend of the comics, the granduncle of the Green Hornet was none other than... The Lone Ranger! A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver Governor, outlaws live in a lonesome world. A world of fear. Fear the mysterious. I made this mask from my dead brother's clothing. I've worked from behind it ever since. I'll wear this mask until justice has been dealt to the last murderer and outlaw. Cowboy hero Red Rider stepped out of the comics and onto the screen, played by Wild Bill Elliott. He fought for justice in the Old West with his sidekicks, Gabby Hayes and little Bobby Blake. You keep your eye on him, little beaver. Make sure it's his horse he's after. You fetch him, me scout, then tell you and Red. Yeah. 25 years later, Bobby Blake will achieve international stardom as television's Beretta. Back in these days, his specialty was helping Red and Gabby out of some pretty tough scrapes. 
Cut the rope, little beaver. It isn't essential to be able to perform superhuman feats to be a comic book star. I'm waiting. How's the door? The madcap antics of the Daffy Dagwood Bumstead family provided the inspiration for 28 movies, a TV series, a novel, and made Blondie the most widely circulated comic strip in the world. never change. Little Orphan Annie has been nine years old for 52 years, and in that time has been a star in newspapers, comics, movies, and most recently, the Broadway stage. <laughs> Me and an orphan ain't so bad. Why, you have lots of fun. What? Well, you run around the streets, <laughs> and you go to movies, and you don't have to wash all the time. But I like to wash. What? I like to wash. Leaping leaping. <laughs> You're a funny kind of an orphan. <laughs> You're a bit crazy, aren't you? Yes. I'm just an orphan. Someday I'm going to be a G-man, too. Another product of the Depression was super sleuth Dick Tracy. In five decades of crime fighting, Tracy faced such hardened super criminals as Prune Face, Gruesome, Larceny Lou, Split Face, and is shown here pursuing the dreaded claw. be the end of Dick Tracy. Tracy, I'm glad you're still here. I just got a report on Hatchet Harry. What about him? One of our men spotted him in the freight yards. Sorry, Tess. Come on, Pat. Sometimes I wish I'd been born a super criminal. Why, my dear? Because then I might get to see something of Mr. Dick Tracy. Oh. oh. <laughs> comic books leave little doubt who to cheer and who to hiss. And of all the comic villains, Ming the Merciless is perhaps the most dastardly. I will conquer the sea, the air, the earth, the universe. Destroy Flash Garden instantly wherever you find it. His Imperial Majesty has ordered that you be executed. Here and now. There is only one man who can possibly thwart Ming's plans for conquest, and that man is Flash Gordon. Over there. Played by Olympic swimming star Buster Crab, Flash proved time and time again that he could somehow escape any desperate situation. Exploits of Flash Gordon brought fantasies of space travel to millions, a full 30 years before the space race and man on the moon. The very ship we're looking for. Some of them must have survived. We've got to shoot them down. Spaceship diving at us. Down. No, we'll need that ship to get it Ming. When man's achievements in science caught up with Hollywood's visions of science fiction, audiences no longer found the simplistic special effects of Flash and his contemporaries believable. Down a half. 
With TV news showing live pictures from the moon, it would take something mighty spectacular to bring audiences back to movie theaters. Then in 1977, writer-director George Lucas created a new kind of action film that went beyond science fiction to science fantasy. Red 5, I'm going in. Star Wars became the most popular movie ever made, combining animation, models, and live action on a scale never before attempted. I'll take them myself. Cover me. the force, Luke. Let go, Luke. The force is strong in this one. is still with Lucas and his colleagues as they plot the further adventures of the evil empire and the rebel alliance. And the impact of Star Wars will be with us always, having created a new folklore of adventure and fantasy for generations to come. And that's Hollywood.